So our first season planting the garden at our new land, we really did not know what to expect. But nature is amazing and surprised us with a bountiful harvest even in our first year. We're gonna weigh this. Thirty-seven pounds. I need to cut like that. Dad, do you want to do a shed and cut through it? I, not right now. It's a regular sized kitchen knife. And that's how far it's gonna go in. Let's go around. Oh wow. Okay, that's a good one. Ooh, that's it's ready. Wet. It's ready. Wow. <laughs> that's a Look good at one. that. Yeah, the cool. Best one so far. This is actually a pink variety too. So. <laughs> really? So to be this red, that's yeah, ready. That's cool. Yeah, usually they're a little more pink. But... Just bought our chicken coop from our house. And we are going to stick it inside of our garden on the perimeter of our garden. We have like a 10 to maybe even 20 foot um, border around the outside. We're just gonna have the tractor go around the outside for right now because we have a lot of vegetables in there. <laughs> Make sure they make it all the way over. Let's talk about that chicken coop right there. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a little work. Yeah, so I built that chicken coop with the intent to, not as a portable coop. It was, it, and, and it was built like almost 10 years ago. So it has lasted longer than I thought it would. Because I real, I honestly used mostly scrap wood, threw it together, and it sufficed for where we were at at our old at our old house. And so, um, I haven't quite built our new chicken tractor yet, so we're just using that until <laughs> until we get that built. But it does need some repair. June bug, back in my June bug. June bug, that June bug. In June bug, that's so fast. You got a June bug before. We're picking corn. That's <laughs> um, obvious, I guess. We were, were we were really excited about this, and I got even more excited when we had our neighbor come over to help with some with some hay, and he had immediately noticed how how good our the, our corn crop was, and how much corn we're getting, and so it just really. So we, we chatted with him for a little bit and just gave him some advice on, well, not really advice, but just kind of told him what we were doing and asked him how he was growing his. And, and so, but, so it was nice to, it was just nice to hear that from somebody else that, um, that our crop was good this year. And so we were very fortunate to get that. Yeah, so he ended up having a crop failure because he planted earlier in the year and we had a lot of rain. Yep. And we were forced to plant. <clears throat> we were forced to plant later, just because of that was when we got the garden. <laughs> basically, yeah. So we got really lucky. the The downside of planting later is where we live. You get a lot more of the corn earworms. Um, you can see there that. Yeah. At, at the top of the ears of corn, they'll they'll get in there and they'll just start eaten off the top yeah. and we grow our corn organically so we don't spray anything on it at all yeah and so we just let them get in there and what we do is we just slice off the top little bit where they've eaten and sometimes the kids will just go ahead and feed the worms to the chickens yeah. and this worked out really well because our coop is in the garden and so we just shucked right there and just had the kids go ahead and throw all of the corn scraps and the worms to the chickens right there because they love that stuff. Yeah. What we ended up doing with the corn is I canned 
about 18, what was it? 18 pints of yeah. corn. And then That's I right. think we probably have 20, 20 or so bags in the freezer. And they were each one pound, so we got about 20 pounds of corn yeah. in the freezer now, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first year that we've been able to grow a lot of corn because we had that smaller garden before, and corn is such a space hog that we just couldn't grow a lot yeah. to save. We grew enough like for fresh eating, but we were never able to save enough. Here we go. Your safe cutting techniques <laughs> from a farmer. I cut away from myself, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Cutting into a, a nice cantaloupe. We, we we forget the variety, but we were waiting for it to turn brown. But I don't think this is a brown variety. So um, Becky smelled it, and wow! Yeah, look Holy at that. cow, that looks good. Mm, smells good too. The squash, pumpkins, watermelon, cantaloupes, all of that came a little bit later in the year. If you had watched my garden tour, I had mentioned on there that we had zero squash bugs. And about a week later, they all showed up <laughs> really quick. Once they appeared, they appeared in mass. Like... Yeah. It was like there was, we tried to stop them. Yeah, so I usually use the duct tape method. Take duct tape, roll it um, inside, In, inside out. Inside out, and around then, your hand. And then you just look under all of the leaves to get the bugs. But with the amount of plants we had this year, that was just kind of not even feasible. This is like a normal size sweet potato that you would eat at like a restaurant or they sell at a grocery store. And here is a potato that we grew this year. These ones tend to be a tiny bit sweeter because they're smaller. Um, but if you leave these to cure enough, these are actually really good too. The trick to growing these large size sweet potatoes is to do very little to your soil. You do not want rich soil or soil that is high in nitrogen. This is one place where you really don't want a lot of compost. The only thing I do add to my soil on occasion is potassium and I usually do an organic form and that is green sand. Tonight we're working on carving pumpkins. These are from the garden. These were the pumpkins that I grew to save the seeds, so it really works out well. Dual purpose pumpkins. The kids can carve them, I can save the seeds, and then nothing gets wasted. It's really nice. Love it. Look Mine are smaller. Whoa, Zoe! Show the camera. Those oh wow, those are big. Those are huge. These are good for cool. Nice. Look at that. So her house is getting framed right now. And while Cam and I work in the garden, the kids have built a homemade domino setup. They're gonna knock these down. Let me get a little closer so you can see. It comes down to here. Got all the bottles that the workers Riz. have left here. Riz, where's my big one? There's that one. Three, two, one. Wow! <laughs> 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 
You guys built that really good. <laughs> <laughs>